hi guys welcome back to my channel well today i'm going to be doing a little tutorial for you guys i decided to do a makeup look uh i realized that the last makeup look i did was like my everyday makeup routine so i decided to play around with some colors for you guys today starting off with this like i did not even know what i had in mind i just knew i wanted to do some some popping eyeshadow i had no clue no idea what i wanted the end look to look like so i just you know did a little bit of guesswork and i winged it here and there and this is what i ended up with i ended up with this blue smoky eye i don't know how i really feel about it but i think it looks good. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to get from this to this. Alright guys, so I'm just going to start off with my brows as usual. You guys know the drill. I fill my brows in with my brow pencil. With some hair like strokes. Trying to just basically get the natural shape of my brows I'm also going to do the exact same thing exact same process to my right brow I don't know if this is my right or my left right now but I'm going to do the exact same process to my other eyebrow I'm going to also fill it in and then I'm going to go in with um, my concealer and just start to outline it I normally mix my concealer with this light concealer I mix it with the LA Pro concealer in cool tan just for like the brow bone area and then I use the Pro concealer in beautiful bones for like the main area and on top just because I feel like I want a little highlight by the brow bone area I'm not going to use like the light concealer everywhere. Don't hate me for being happy. I'll never say I'm sorry. I won't forget what you said. And the way you treat me, don't hate me for being happy. I'll never say I'm sorry. I won't forget what you said. And the way you treat me, girl. And the way you treat me, girl. Okay, you guys, I went ahead to do my eyebrows, finish my eyebrows and prime my eyes with concealer and just set it just to avoid wasting time. Then I'm going to go in with this palette. This is a palette that I've had for like almost three, four years. Okay, maybe not four years, but I bought it in like my 300 level. This is the Hush Beauty palette. It has like a lot of colors, although my palette now is like smashed and stuff. But it's really nice it has like really pigmented colors matte colors like it's really great although half of it is like gone right now but i'm just gonna go in with this orange shade the two orange shades right here for my transition I'm going to go in with this little blush palette that I have has has a lot of pinks it's broken guys so I'm, I can't really show you I'm just going to go in with a little red here and basically just add more of that to my crease I'll never say I'm sorry I won't forget what you said and the way you treat me don't hate me for being happy I'll never say I'm sorry I won't forget what you said and the way you treat me girl and the way you I am going to go in next with my Zaron contour kit, contour palette thingy, whatever. 
and I'm just going to basically use the dark shade to contour the sides of my eyes. Okay guys, so right now I'm thinking about doing a pop of color. Thinking about a green or a blue for the lids. What do you guys think? I think I'll go for a blue. <gasps> I'm sorry guys, I forgot I wasn't recording. I just went ahead and put applied some NYX jumbo pencil in milk to this eye lead. I just use it to cut my crease a little bit. It's no biggie. I'll probably show myself cutting this crease. So I'm going to go in with it's a random mask palette, guys. I don't I'm not sure how it's going to look, but I just want to try it. Honestly, it's like this old thing I've had for like years it's pretty pigmented let me just try it and see if I don't like it then I'll probably have to start from scratch but I'm just going to pick up this blue and see don't tell me things that you've never been in laughing alone but me and your king with you by my side I'll never chance what do you guys think I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I did both eyes off camera. Tell me how do they look? I don't know. I'm not really sure about how they look yet. I'll probably just wait till you know I do like my whole face and see if it comes together. Right now I'm going to be applying my lashes. I bought a couple of lashes off AliExpress. Uh, I have this pack of five that I bought. They're very cheap, actually. I can't remember. Maybe like 500 naira or so. I bought this pack, and then I also bought these are like um, synthetic lashes. Although they look really good, but they're synthetic. And I bought a pack. I bought a pack of five because they don't really last. Like if I use one like two or three times, like the band is not really thick. So if I use one like two or three times, it tends to spoil. Then I also bought this mean clashes i don't know which one i'm going to use i'll probably just try using this just to see i need to even put eyeliner i'm going to just put eyeliner at the end i'll never say i'm sorry i won't forget what you said and the way you treat me girl and the way you treat me girl I'll never say I'm sorry, I won't forget what you said And the way you treat me, don't hate me for being happy I'll never say I'm sorry, I won't forget what you said And the way you treat me, girl And the way you treat me, girl Baby, and the way you treat me, girl Thank you guys it's been a long time since I wore lashes so I, I don't know how I feel I feel like lashes are overwhelming me a little like they are too thick or something but for real it's just been a really long time since I've worn lashes like artificial lashes so I'm feeling kind of weird but let me just go ahead and do like the rest of my face and stuff I'm going to go through the trouble of priming and doing all that base stuff because i'm actually not really going out i'm just sitting at home putting a full face of makeup for you guys but obviously if i was going out obviously i'll put on like i'll prime my face and all that stuff so i'm going in with <clears throat> some foundation by the way this is the zikiel pro coverage high definition foundation i'm going to put a little bit on both sides of my face slightly dark but I'm looking for that tan effect anyway and then I'm going to go in with the black opal my usual black opal stick foundation in nutmeg and I'm 
going to also apply that all around. Oh, going with my little foundation brush. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender just to help me blend my foundation much more. Take off any excess basically. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan to highlight my face. I'll never say I'm sorry, I won't forget what you said And the way you treat me, don't hate me for Okay, so I'm going to go in with my foundation brush and just try to blend everything out Basically blend the sides of my face where I applied concealer and stuff Just so that it's seamless, you guys I'm very sorry for noise in the background I'm sure you're hearing like the cars like I was filming in my room and my mom was just all over the place interrupting me came out of the bathroom looking crazy so I was like I'm going to have to move somewhere else I decided to move to the study and unfortunately the study has like a balcony so like literally filming in front of the street but I hope it's not that bad okay so i went back with the same foundation i used just to see if i can use it to contour i don't know what i was thinking but i guess it worked out you know good in the end so i just used that to contour my face and add some color to my face and right now i am blending i'm going back in with a little concealer on my forehead just a tad bit nothing too crazy just because I feel like I blended out everything the first time. I'm going to set my face with my setting powder. So now that I've set my face with all this powder, I don't want to like let it bake. I hate baking. So I'm just gonna go in with my face powder and take off everything like almost immediately. Like you guys, baking is not my thing. Like I used to try baking like a few times when I started, but just to make my skin look really crazy. So I just really decided that, you know what, baking is not for me, I don't have to bake, you know, so I don't bake anymore basically. A little brush and try to contour my nose. So I'm going in with my classic powder, it's a face powder actually but I'm just going to use it to set the areas of my face that I contoured. Uh, okay, right, blush. 
I don't know. It's going to be pink blush or orange blush. I think I'll just go for a pink, mostly because <laughs> it's the nearest to me. And I went in with some lip balm just to add moisture to my lips. What's going with this Zara lip liner in livid or is it vivid? I just basically line my lips. Cranial. Oh yeah. Uh. Things I'm gonna sit down and I worry about you. You may say your plans and money things and what you do. Mama don't tell me about whom I like you. We bring a bag of jam and I'm life and then you're good. Don't tell me things that you've never been in. Laughing alone, but me and your king with you by my side. So I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution highlighter. I'm going to try to highlight my face. You guys, I don't know about this makeup look, honestly. I'm just gonna do it because I've already come this far. And I really don't want to spoil my mood, but you know. Like, whatever. You never do listen when me say. Every time I tell you, say me love. You, you never want to be around me. So you left me for another man. Now I'm just lying under my eyes because that's like the next music thing to do. We know that trust me, baby. I'm my wife. Don't hate me for be happy. I'll never say I'm sorry. I won't forget what you say. Mascara for my bottom lashes. To see if they're gonna pump a little bit. But let me go in and add some highlighter to my tear duct. Forget what you said. And the way you treat me, don't hate me for being a pain. I'll never say I'm sorry, I won't forget what you said. And the way you treat me, girl. And the way you treat me, girl. Baby, and the way you treat me, girl. So, you guys, halfway through my makeup, I realized that I really didn't like how my lips look so i just decided to wipe it all off and you know do something different i was just going with the normal like brow pencil i use to do my brows and to just line my lips and see where it takes me Crane now. Oh yeah. Uh, things I'm gonna sit down and I worry about you. You may say your plans and money things and what you do. Mama, don't tell me about whom I like you. So I'm going in with this pink nude to see. King with you by my side, I never chance. You guys, what do you think? I think I prefer this a lot better. I prefer it a lot better to, to the crap I had on before. So what do you think? Mm. 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 I think this is it. Okay you guys, so I went ahead and I wore something a little more presentable. Did a little something with my hair, put on a little like head wrap and stuff. I don't really know how I feel about it, but I feel like it looks it looks okay. I don't have like you know my braids on anymore, and my hair is just like bare. I've not like gone to the salon or anything. So I just thought 
I'll just throw on this little knife. It's yeah. so easy. Sit down, damn it. Oh, Ninja flavor that comes. It's E. Kelly. Oh, baby. Pour me water. Holy water. Quench this fire. Pour me water. Some holy water. Make it quench this fire. Everybody want me, make I know fall in love with you. But I know answer them, I tell them say. Keep watching and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Love you guys.